Alright, alright. Hello, hello. This is New Axe Day for me. I think we should change it from New Gear Day to New Axe Day. Mostly because the acronym would be NAD. And yes, that is a crotch reference, which I find a freaking hilarious. Alright, so this guitar, I ordered this from eBay. And uh, this is a Washburn Win Deluxe, which is a, a Les Paul style body. A single cut. Really excited for this guitar. I've, been, uh, I've had my eye on this guitar for, for quite a while. This dude from eBay did an awesome job with this, this packaging. Make sure I don't stab my eye. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna pop some of these later with the kid. Get off. Alright, big styrofoam box. This is the tough part. Got a straddle. Let's see what we have here. Get out, get out. Oh, jeez. All good, all good. All right, so all the tape's cut. Give you guys a better view of this guitar and my crotch. Try not to look at this, though. All right, so this guy, man, I, I told him, ooh, yeah. I was paranoid about guitars being shipped to me after the Harley Benton incident, and he assured me he was gonna do a good job of this, and look at that. This case is chambered and everything. Ooh, styrofoam. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this box. Ooh, hello. Hell oh, yes. Oh. Oh, come to me. All right. Ooh. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, yes. All right, so when I ordered this guitar, I knew there was a little blemish on it. Which I was, which I was okay with. All right, a couple of dings already. Right it's a used guitar, so you're, you're gonna expect it to be not perfect. But yeah. Oh, look at that guy. In the camera it looks a little bit purple. It's not though. It's a grayish, transparent black. Look at that. Huh? 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 <coughs> Record scratch. That was the flaw here. The headstock has this uh, kind of peeling, I don't know, finish on it. It's really strange. There's a little bit of a scratch here. And the guy I bought it from said that because that scratch, like air got in it or something, which is what was lifting the finish off. Um, it's strange that it's cloudy. You know, that's for sure. But, um, you know, it sure played well, which we're going to find out soon. You know, I'm, I'm really into Les Pauls shaped guitars, but I really don't particularly want to buy a Les Paul. I think they're overpriced. Um, I think you're, you're buying a name in history, which is cool too, but uh, I buy my guitars to play out and to you know, beat the piss out of. And I feel really awkward beating the piss out of a super expensive Les Paul. And Epiphone Les Pauls I've played, you know, I've, I've never really been super impressed with them. But uh, I'm not saying they're bad. Epiphone makes some pretty awesome stuff. I have a few Epiphones. But, uh, Les Paul style bodies, you know, there's so many different companies that make them. It does, doesn't make sense to me to spend a lot of money on them because there's just so many good copies of them now. So I have your Duncan USM, and what I've read so far, this is very much, if, if, not, if not exactly, the Duncan design 103 and 101 or 102, something like that. Um, I have to do a little bit more research on exactly what these are, but if these are like the Duncan designs, uh, I know the 103 and the 101 very well because that's those are the same pickups that are on my uh, my Priestess. All right, so let's plug it in and see what she sounds like. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's go. Yeah, there's definitely some uh, intonation things I gotta take a look at here. These strings are super dead. Yeah, I mean, you can hear there's no there's no bite to that anymore. I don't like the tuners. These are, yeah, I didn't even, didn't even do anything. I was just showing you guys and it even it fell out even more. Thank you. 
good feel. It's it's a little bit on the light side. I don't think this is a this is probably just a, sh a shade on under seven or right above seven. It's definitely lighter than the SCs. The neck feels awesome. This feels just like the neck um, on my Washburn Idol, which I love. I do know this is a, a 24 and three quarters scale length, so it's less paw like. I love that there's a, a the stop tail and a tunematic bridge. And, uh, so it has all the Les Paul appointments that I would love to have in a Les Paul, but in a Washburn, which makes me super happy because I love Washburns. So, yeah, overall not bad. These pickups are definitely a little bit lower gain, kind of like the uh, Priestess. Uh, definitely more on the Paffy side. Uh, I can tell right away because this, this pedal I'm running it through, normally with my other guitars, like the higher gain guitars, it's, it's very um, it's very transparent. Like this has definitely a little bit more, uh, you have to work a little bit harder. I feel, like, I feel like it's almost at the gain that I want, but not quite. So it forces me to kind of dig in a little bit harder, which is fine. I don't mind working for for tone or working for a feel. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm just gonna uh, give it a quick setup to see what it sounds like afterwards. Yeah, so it seems like a string change and a height adjustment on the tunematic bridge is really all this guitar needed. <laughs> No frills, no uh, push pulls, none of that stuff. It's your basic Les Paul uh, electronics configuration. You got your two volumes, your two tones, your three-way switch. Again, no frills, anything like that. Uh, one thing, the tuners are really kind of terrible on this thing, so we need to uh, figure out ways to uh, figure out funds to replace these. Most likely, I'm going to go with uh, try Schaller M1s. The, uh, the hardware here, when I when I restrung it. Pretty robust, like pretty good quality. It's probably Chinese pop metal still, but um, it, would, it has some weight to it. Yeah, clean electronics, clean switch for right now. Yeah, overall not bad. Really cool piece. So definitely check it out if you can, if you can find it. It's the uh, Washburn Wind Deluxe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out.